Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with... Crap. And, oh, you heard the, the little little chirping from Charlie, the critters. I hear it. I'm a little hot and sweaty, so excuse me. It is July 13th, 2020. It is Monday afternoon at 1.50 p.m., and we just got home. I haven't been out of the house since when, huh? I don't know. It's been a while. It's been over a week, I think. I <laughs> can't be for sure, but, um, cause, I mean, why waste the gas? If you don't really have anything to go do. Um, so anyway, we need to go get gas and then we needed to, I need to stop at Dollar Tree. Cause like everybody else, I'm on the big hunt for soy sauce, you guys. And it's the Kiko Men soy sauce. And if you can't find that, it's the the choy. And I feel and don't have in any. We do eat a lot of rice um, and stuff, and we have just a little tiny bit left. So find any, send it my way. Because, you know, it's just, and it's insanely priced, like on Amazon right now. It's like, oh, Lord, it's like about double the price. So it's like, yikes. So anyway, I went and Dollar Tree, got a few things. I spent $14 even. I got like, you know, um, I like the spaghetti sauce, the hunts in the can. Um, and we just had some vegetables and a little bit of meat. Um, and some bread spices it up. Um, I need to get a little more pasta. I'll see. I did get two teriyaki sauces because they had no soy sauce. Trying to make do because we do eat, eat rice and stuff. My husband is part Chinese and, and we both like rice. So, um, are you going to cook some eggs and rice? Yeah, if you want to sit down for lunch. Yeah, please. Okay. And um, a lot of times when you sit here, eggs and rice is, is he'll, he'll take rice and, uh, you know, we always usually have some made up in the house. But he'll take rice and he'll put some soy sauce and, and, and a little bit of butter on it. And then we'll he'll cook some eggs over easy and just lay them on top. And then we just kind of chop them up and mix them in there. And I like tomatoes with mine because I'm weird that way. <laughs> Right, honey? Yes, you are. So, um, that's what we're going to have for lunch here. Uh, it is 1.53 p.m. And uh, let me do, but I'll tell you guys what I got. And I did get one barbecue sauce, two pastas. Yeah, that's about it. It was all just on that one aisle. Oh, I found. So, check your Dollar Tree. If you guys like the sugar-free coffee syrups, it's by Cafe, what, El Fresco or something? something? Like that, yeah. Um, anyway, they, they have them, and they they used to carry them in hazelnut, and then a vanilla, and then they used to a long time a caramel. Well, it's been harder and harder to find them, and basically the caramel you can't find. And then all of a sudden they just weren't having them at all, and they don't even have them on their website. Well, lo and behold, I was just walking down the aisle hoping maybe they put soy sauce with the spices. They had four bottles of the sugar-free vanilla there. I bought them all because you guys know I like that the coffee serves. It sweetens up my stuff, you know, without the calories and the carbs and everything. So, check your Dollar Tree. They might have. So, anyway, Brad digging through ice and stuff trying to get... No, honey, it's fine. So, um, we do the weather. How hot are you guys? I don't know. Uh, it is 93 right now. Feels like 104. Uh, today is the hottest. hottest. It is it was supposed to get up to 93. Um, uh, the low will be 75. 40% chance of rain now. Humidity is 55%. Wind is 6 miles per hour from the southwest. Sunrise was at 6.45 a.m. Sunset will be at 8.41. And tomorrow is going to be a little cooler. Um, this is not as hot as it has been. It has been like almost up into the 100. And for real fill, it's been like 113, 114. I'm not complaining because we uh, we do have AC. We do have three window units. One is our personal one. You guys have been watching me for a long time. You remember we bought one for the RV and had it there. And um, and that's the main one that we really like in our 
front room window because it's temperature controlled. And that's nice. So, um, like right now we have it on high, which is, means that I don't even want to see where that electric bill. Ugh. Last month I was like, I opened it up and I'm like, <clears throat> and Brad's like, no, remember last year, if you, if you look on last year, it was really hot too and it was high. And, and he was right. Um, Brad's in a lot of pain today. I'm not sure why he's been in so much pain as of late, but he sure has been. Um, so we got to get him settled down after lunch and probably have him watch some TV or something. Um, maybe he can find a good movie on. Uh, I've still been working on that big diamond painting, the um, uh, seashells, and, and that's coming along nicely. I actually, I can show you guys. I have it right here. Those are pretty. Yeah, I enjoy doing them. Yeah, I have just this bottom part. It is brighter. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying doing it. My friend Shoshona got me that for my birthday. And so I've been working on that. Um, I've been working a little bit on doing that hat I was talking about, but I can only loom for so long, and then I can really start to feel it in my shoulder, so I have to lay off. Um, but that's just life, right? Yes, thank goodness there's other crafts that can be done. I want to go in today at some point in time. I have a painting I'm working on, and I want to finish that up. I went in there yesterday because the cat litter box lives in the closet of that little bedroom where the art supplies and everything are. And so I was sitting there, and the painting had to be right in front of there on a knee, so and I'm like, I didn't finish that. I'm liking how it's starting to turn out, so... I want, I want to get in there some point in time today. It's nice and cool up in that room, too. That one does have a window AC also, and our bedroom does. Kitchen gets bloody hot. Let me tell you what happened. Beware of the box fans at um, Walmart. The bigger ones that are that are, that are cheap. What, was it like $15? or 17 $17. And uh, we'd only had it about three months, and... What did you say happened to the motor, probably? Uh, the bearings in the motor uh, must have broken apart. And uh, um, and the blades were right up against that grate. They'd all come loose. Well, I mean, they were, they were still intact in their circle, but they had come loose and shoved up against that. But we could have had a fire. You know, that's scary. So, yeah. But too happy about that. You know, we all need our fans. So I pulled one fan from our bedroom and we have it out there. Because you've got to have something in that kitchen because it is hot in that kitchen. It, the heat, well, of course, you know, kitchens are hot anyway. You were cooking in it, right? And the heat kind of stacks up in there. And poor, poor Brad or me, whichever one is doing the dishes, we're like out there sweating buckets, sweating buckets, sweating buckets, you know. <laughs> you know, you can't tell if, if we're just, if we're wet on the face because we're doing dishes and splashed or if we're sweating. <laughs> and uh, so um, that that was going on. My friend Leanne surprised me with um, uh, a couple birthday presents. I'll have to show you the picture of them because the ones hung up. And the other one is out in the kitchen, too. Let me show you. Sometimes it's just easier to show you. She got me this um, dream catcher. It is beautiful, you guys. You guys don't see the end of it. It's got some feathers and stuff, but it is just beautiful. And then she got me... And I tell you guys, I talk about the skinny syrups all the time. And this is the big 24-ouncer. And I had this on my wish list. I had both of them. But this is the peanut butter cup. And it is to die for. It takes care of that sweet tooth so nicely. So I have to thank you again, Leanne. It was so nice of you. And then I just got home. Okay, somebody surprised me. I told you guys the other day with that um, three, um, what do you call that? The three uh, metal bars, uh, and it's uh, on a hinge. Kitchen, kitchen washcloth. Yeah, well, you can, you, can, you can hang your towels or your kitchen washcloth. 
I never did find out who surprised me with that, but thank you again. And then I just got home, and I'm like, I didn't order any clothing or anything. The only thing I have coming is Aline. And somebody had surprised me with this beautiful... It's, it's, it's like a summer swimsuit cover-up, but look at this. And this, and I'll use this over the top of tank of, of uh, um, uh, isn't that pretty? And it's a real light gauzy, if you can see through here. But, um, uh, I'll wear this over the top of, uh, tank tops, uh, like this dress, a sleeveless. I wouldn't wear it with this one because it's blue, but I have a solid black one, you know, uh, I have lots of skirts and tops that I can wear this with. So thank you, whoever sent this, because it didn't say who sent it. But it was very, very kind of you, and I love it. I just love it. Um, you know my taste too well. So, uh, you know, I still want to look ladylike, and but be comfortable. And don't we all? And, I mean, like in the heat and stuff. No, hardly anybody is going to wear any kind of makeup in this heat. Because it's just going to run off you. It's going to be a pool around your boobs. Huh. Depending on how much boobs you have. But, I mean, you know. I mean, it's not going to... I don't have any on. And if you're wondering why I got double glasses... Okay. Let me tell you. These are my new ones, right? That I got when? First of the year, a little bit after the first oh, of the year. God. Like, kind of like right before Brad... Uh, officially quit work because he just couldn't, with the disability, do it any longer. They're crap, okay? I'm not happy with them. I got them from Xena, but I don't think it's Xena's fault. I think it is the eye doctor's fault because these that I have here are my old ones, and they are bifocals, but they, they're the, what do they call the transitions or something? Yeah. You know, they don't have the line, right? These are not bifocals at all. I can see great in the distance I can't see anything up close at all. So that means if I'm trying to watch a movie with my husband, but I still want to work on a diamond painting, or I want to illuminate, I can't. Because I can't see, you know, make the distance and then the close-up. So what I've been having to do is watch everything here on my laptop and have my, my diamond painting or my illuminating super close. So basically what I do is take my glasses off. So I got out my old pair, which I can see better with. Not quite as well in a distance, but up close. Yeah, great. I can read stuff again. I thought maybe I was losing my mind. I did, honey. I thought maybe they did put the bifocal in and I just don't notice yeah. or something. But I can read everything up close again. That's cool. But so, um, you know, but this eye doctor... We went to Walmart again, and it was a different eye doctor, and she did maybe four different uh, settings, and that, that was it with me. She's done. So, and I know Brad doesn't have bifocals, so I don't know if maybe she thought we both didn't have bifocals, but they took your glasses, and they read them, and they asked me and stuff, but so I'm going back to my old, old glasses if I'm doing doing anything out here or any kind of craft or anything. Because usually every afternoon I work on the diamond painting and then I transition into the loom knitting, <laughs> you know. Um, so that's what's going on. I found these in the glove box. Usually every year when we get, or every couple of years when we get new glasses, it'll need to be yearly now that, that we're diabetic and we're getting older. We will take I will take one of the eyeglass cases that we get and I will put both of our pairs of glasses and I'll put them in the glove box because, especially like with Brad, but I'm getting to that point too. I mean, it has on my driver's license, I have to have glasses. But if his glasses were to break, any driving or anything, there's another pair in a hard case, eyeglass case. Or he's had this happen at work before where his is maybe he's lost a screw and he's lost a lens and stuff and you know he doesn't have the tools to fix it so it's nice to be able to go out to the glove box and right hun yeah. and get that other pair of glasses so that's what what I always do um you know but uh 
So that's why they were out there. Oh. Hoping the Aleve comes in in time, because if not, we're going to be out of it, honey. Wow. And it's not supposed to come in till Thursday. I don't know why. I was hoping maybe it would come in earlier. So, you know, first world problems, right? And I didn't even think to buy any when I was at uh, Dollar Tree. So, let's check my order, see when... It still says it's coming Thursday. Yeah, it still says it's coming Thursday. Not shipped yet. Ugh. Well, we'll make do. Um, feeling good, except for my blood sugar was pretty low this morning. It was 74. And uh, I think you could tell it, right? I was, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. What were they doing? No, uh, actually, this morning wasn't bad. No. Yeah. Sometimes if it's real low or real high, you get a little, uh, you get a little squirrely. Aren't I squirrely usually? What? Aren't I usually squirrely? Well, more so. Oh, harsh. Much more so. Um, you need to go back and take a Gabby, honey. Okay. Um, or I can give you one out here. Because he's in a lot of pain. Um, that's about it. I'm feeling good. Um, no infection or anything. Blood sugars have been really good. Um, Brad's blood sugars have been great. I mean, what, this morning was 129. That's really great for him. Cause didn't didn't uh, that one doctor say any time it was a below 150 he'd be happy? Yeah. Yeah. Our old doctor in Wyoming. Um, that's about it. We've been still looking at rentals um, there in the Savannah area. Probably gonna end up paying about a thousand a month um, for anything that's decent, and we don't want we don't want to rent another rat trap. Um, well, it doesn't have rats, but it has you know. Oh my God, those palmetto bugs, y'all. They're, mm, they're so nasty, and they're like about that big. I kid you not. I mean, I'm about to strap the cat on their back. You know, they're huge, and they're fast. And they've been, we've had, like, last couple of days had one in there each. You know, Brad didn't know I could move that fast last oh. night, because we sit side by side. Well, Nixie was underneath his, his uh, footrest on his recliner, so he couldn't he couldn't get it down. And so I jumped up. We needed to get the raid because there was a palmetto bug on the vacuum, and it, the raid was out on the kitchen table. And I jumped up, ran over there, got that can of raid, came back, killed it, smushed it, sat back down. Right, hun? No. I was not playing, y'all, because no. When them bugs are bigger than than my um, mouse on my yeah. my laptop, we we no, we're not having it. No, when they're bigger than this, but no, it's about half the size. <laughs> you know, I've gotten more used to the bugs because we live in the south, and anytime you live in some place that's warmer all the time, you're going to have more bugs, right? They can propagate and. And live a lot longer than they ever could in a cold climate like Wyoming. But, like I said, when they get to be a certain size, you know, because it's almost like I want to run. Because if they if they get mad at you and you spray them, they will come charge you. We've had some of the, the little bastards. They just want to come charge at you. Okay, now I can't monetize this because I said a bad word. Oh, well. Right, hon? Yep. Okay, well, that's about all I got for today. I just want to say thank you to Leanne, and thank you to the two anonymous people that got me birthday gifts. I assume that's what they are. I don't think this, this last one was for Brad, but if it is, let me know. We'll have him model it. Right, honey? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, anyway, I love you guys, and I do... Oh, let me... One... You thought you were getting away from me, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Let's talk for a moment about going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over this 
COVID stuff. I'm, I mean, I'm not making light of it. I know it's a real thing, uh, you know, and I don't believe that it, that it is a government, you know, conspiracy or anything. But you, if you do, you're all, you, you have a right to believe whatever you want, and I won't down you for it. We can be, we, we can respectfully disagree, and I, I really believe that. And whether or not you wear a mask in a place, that's up to you too. Sometimes I wear a mask into a place, sometimes I don't. Dollar Tree, I didn't. You know, Walmart, I usually do. It just depends. But anyway, I think I'm starting to lose my, my biscuits because being... Now, I'm a homebody, and Brad's a homebody, but being this long, right, hon? Yeah. And anyway, there's no place to go anyway, and, and of course, we don't have extra funds, and most people don't around this area either, but it's like, I never, ever, ever thought it was going to be this long, you know, and I think it is the new normal. And let me say this, I do not understand and why, if it's not safe to keep the prisoners in a penitentiary and you're releasing them for their safety and for the guards' safety because you don't make them wear masks or anything. Why are we opening back up the schools and universities for our young people? Aren't they even more important than somebody who's done something so wrong that they're in a penitentiary? I don't understand this. I think we are going to see such a huge influx of cases when these kids get back in school. Let's face it, a school is a breeding ground for germs anyway. Every time that you get your kids into a daycare or a school, we got all these colds and flus and, you know, everybody's sick and stuff. So what do you think can happen? You know, but we're going to be more concerned with prisoners and giving them early releases than we are about our future generations. I think this is a huge mistake. That's just my opinion. And I know that everybody has their own and I will, you know, I will, you know, respectfully, you know, understand your viewpoint. Right, hon? Yep. So anyway... That's all I got to say. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you haven't lost it. If you have, there's a big line of all of us to the right that have. And we just pretend like we kind of semi-normal. So, and I love you guys. And I do think you're awesome. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. <laughs>